Hi everyone, my name is Matthew and today I'm going to show you a couple of things about Libvirt, uh, Flatcar Linux and etcd. So just to introduce you the context of this video, uh, I'm software developer and DevOps uh, in a company and I like to develop and run cloud native applications but on my own I don't want to, to, to pay a cloud providers like AWS, GCP uh, because it's pretty expensive and yeah I know there is free tier and stuff like that but well I was like I want to control all my stuff from A to Z and to be able to to develop in a development environment so I tried to start with CoreOS uh, but CoreOS has been by both by uh, Red Hat like one year ago and I was wow could try to find something without branding company behind so I found uh, Flatcar Linux so this is uh, the website and it's basically a CoreOS fork and it's 100% compatible with CoreOS features but it's run uh, as a fork and I can let, let you check the website so on the documentation you, uh, there is a part of how to run uh, Flatcar Linux on Libvirt. So basically you just have to download uh, the QCO2 image, uh, unzip it and create the, the volume inside the Libvirt images. The tricky things is that for the initial file uh, you need to, to edit uh, your domain XML config and to add this option firewall configuration and to name it after uh, opt slash uh, something something uh, in order to pass the provision file. So this is how you start a domain on libvirt with Flatcar Linux on it. Then the network configuration actually you can define a static IP like so but uh, Libvirt GHCP won't be able to find you, except if you add a QMU agent. To keep things simple, I've just create. Uh, I mean, I, I didn't create anything. I I just uh, update uh, default network to add uh, three static IP. So for each node, we are going to deploy a three node cluster. So each node has a MAC address. It's not pretty random, but it works. <laughs> and and uh, for each MAC, we have an IP. So this way, we can keep a trace inside the uh, Virch DHCP netlease uh, options. So that's it for the network. And at the big at the start of uh, of the node. They try to 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 create a cluster uh, through etcd member service, so I can show you that. I've deployed everything with Terraform, so there is my ignition tf. So I know it, it's not really beautiful, it's not pretty, but it works. And I mean, I'm on my own, so I uh, I can work as I want and. To me, I have to keep things simple, just first we, I'm doing something that it works, then after we try to split files into sub-modules and pretty things. So this is the ignition file, basically I just had a network D configuration just to, to run DHCP uh, on the nodes and systemd is just a etcd member with a drop-in, we'll see that in a few minutes. Uh, this is my host name, so it's not a one, not a two, not a three. Uh, my user core with SSH pip key, and this is my GHCP uh, system D network D, sorry. Um, and yeah, my drop in uh, etcd member. So it's uh, it's provided by a template file, uh, and this is a template. So we can check it. So it's just, uh, it's not a complete 
systemd service. I mean, it's simply a drop-in, so I just need to define un custom environment uh, variables. I've just defined two dynamic variables to be provi uh, provisioned by uh, Terraform. So it's the node name, node 1, node 2, node 3, and the private IP. So I listen for my peers and my client on uh, all the interfaces to keep things simple. And I add the tiles with uh, uh, 1906502211. I mean, my uh, uh, private IP. This is a static cluster, so I can I can create a initial cluster with uh, my two nodes. You have to give the IP and not the DNS name. And the third variable is my cluster token, so it's generated randomly by Terraform. And that's it for uh, etcd. And finally. I have my main.tf, so it's not really complicated. First, you define how much host you want. So for fun, I'm gonna try to host to to have three hosts. So I, I do not have a, a big machine. I mean, I have eight gig of RAMs and uh, uh, four CPU. Yeah, four CPU. So uh, I'm using libvirt provider. It works uh, as expected. Mm, first, I define uh, my uh, my uh, my flat color disk. So with base image, uh, this one, which one I've downloaded uh, earlier. Um, so yeah, for the disk, then I give the ignition file uh, for each node, and finally I define my node himself. So it's basically a libvirt domain, and for each node, I define a network interface with a random. Uh, MAC address, uh, A01, A2, A3, and I wait for all these, it means uh, while I didn't get any IP from DHCP, I consider my domain as not stored. And yeah, so this thing, it's, uh, it's a work in progress feature, because uh, ignition file is uploaded uh, as I show you. there and this is new on the latest release so the release of the 16th of August and before it was uh, opt slash com dot os slash config and so it's been updated to this value so now we need to be able to tune this value because it was hardcore to opt slash com dot cos dot slash config. So now you're able to change this value, but it's still work in progress. I just submit up here yesterday. Mm, yeah, that's it. So there is also uh, a bug uh, with uh, ignition provider, a uh, cache bug. So you're going to see that in a few seconds. Yes. The first time I try with a three nodes uh, cluster. You can check my my memory. So this is basically uh, the bug I talked about, uh, cache bug. So you just need to reapply. Yes. <laughs> and a simple screen recorder is taking a bunch of memory, so I hope my computer won't crash. Alright, so I can check that I have three nodes running. I can check my DHCP is uh, one. Oh. This one is not static. I wonder why. I just because I have uh, the same entry uh, in in my uh, network, so I can just destroy the current uh, deployment, and we're going to fix that.
wrong copy paste, I suppose. Um, I know I can update my network with a uh, net update, but I don't remember the, the command line. So we are going to stop the network, edit it, and restart it. Okay, let's go. So default, destroy. Alright, should be good. And apply once again with the same issue with uh, ignition. And yeah, the next step is to install Kubernetes on it and to be able to have my, my own mini cube uh, on my computer. And the step uh, and plus uh, three is to 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 buy my own setup, my own server, and to run libvirt and deploy a bigger cluster. So uh, you can check the HTTP leases. Okay, I have a three o three. So this is basically just uh, the lease is until uh, noon. So if ready, you want to be clear you can just edit this file it's uh, libvirt mm, dns and status you can remove the entry you, you don't want this one and the HTTP should be clear all right so i can uh, ssh myself on uh, node 2 all right my key has changed um Yes. So first I can just check running jobs. No jobs running means everything uh, is alright. And I can check my uh, journal. Alright, so member is started in cluster. Everything is alright. You can just check to be sure uh, the etcd member service and this is the original and this is our drop in with uh, token and the private IP and the non name. Uh, you can see the host name is uh, node02 as expected. And finally, we can just SSH ourselves to node 01. So we can just first member list and oh we have only three okay it's because uh, well if you check my my etcd drop in I have only two nodes in my cluster but I just basically have to add my third node but it can work for uh, purpose demonstration purpose so I'm on another one another two I uh, can check the member list and I can emit a message, set a message, hello YouTube, and on this machine I can simply read the message. Nice, it works. So as you can see it's pretty simple uh, to deploy cluster on, um, on Nibbert. You have to trick a couple of things, um, but yeah, it works fine and you can see with my uh, 8 gig uh, machine it works really fine I mean I have like three three nodes running on it and it works pretty fun so thanks for watching the video and if you have any question please uh, send me uh, a comment or follow me on Twitter and poke me on Twitter have a great day bye